Hey everyone, it's Jason. Welcome to another Red Dragon Inc. Ally set. This is one of these single player boxes. This is for Wrench the Kobold Artificer. Um, yes, yeah, picking up these small boxes, nice way to just add an extra character to your game, throw them in any set. Um, so of course we are going to get our big old instructions here, which will explain how to play uh, Wrench. Um, and I'll kind of just go through and explain them as we go through. Um, as well as all, with all this different detailing how the rules work for him. Um, we'll get your token card, which have all your gold, your, uh, fortitude and alcohol counters. Um, which you can definitely use. Then you will get your board. Um, this is the ones for anything before set number five, character trope. Um, is you got one of these boards. All the later ones, you get the nice fancier ones, which will look like this. This is in set number five. Um, all the single character packs are in there. Um, these are actually a lot nicer to have because they still have your alcohol and your fortitude numbers on there. And they tell you what to do, but they add any additional rules for a character, such as his as Activate Gizmos, um, as well as on the top as a spot for his Gizmo deck. Um, so these are really nice to have um, for that reason. Not necessary, but just extra bonus. And then he has some wrench counters and some plus counters, which various cards will utilize. So we're going to hop in to look at his deck. Cobalt Artificer Wrench. Uh, another thing you can get in set 5, so this is not in this box, it's only in set number 5, the character trove is a deck divider for when you're sorting it out in that box, which is really nice. Um, the other thing that's great about it is on the back, it explains how his cards work. Um, so what he does is he has, he has various cards in his deck called Gizmos. Um, and when you play them, um, uh, you may play one as an action card as usual. Um, when you play a Gizmo, you place a wrench on it. And it has a little counter. So let's just look at one of them. It would be easier than trying to explain it. So he's got a card such as this. Wrench's Little Helper. Acting, Gizmo, and Active. So it's got these three different counters on it. So when it comes into play, you're going to put a wrench on counter number three. That's basically his, his fortitude, his health. So in this card says when uh, pick up Gizmo... The pick a gizmo other than wrenches will help her that gizmo gain going fortitude, so he helps somebody else. Um, when your opponents attack you, they can opt to hit either you or one of your characters, your gizmos, for fortitude damage. If they hit these guys, they reduce it by one. If it's at one and it goes off, this gizmo is destroyed. Uh, if a gizmo is destroyed, we have down here at the bottom, we have collateral damage. Uh, if Fortitude is lost from a card, would cause it to break down. In addition to discarding it, Wrench suffers one unavoidable Fortitude loss. So, basically your opponents can do damage to it or get rid of it. Um, otherwise, at the end of each of your phase, each, um, at the end of your action phase, you kick down all your Gizmos by one. If it hits zero and breaks down that way, um, it, it's just discarded. So every turn they're constantly, they're going to constantly get weaker and weaker and then eventually go away. But if your opponent finishes it off, then, um, then you take one damage. So they can choose to like maybe hit that thing to take it out and deal one damage to you versus just dealing one damage to you. Um, there's active gizmos. Uh, so when you kick down active, you activate its effect. So every turn I have out that helper... Um, end of the, so I put it into play, nothing happens. At the end of my turn, it kicks from 3 to 2, I get use its effect. Then 3 to 1, I get use its effect, and then 3 to 0, it gets destroyed. So I get two, two options out of it. Um, a passive Gizmo has a standing effect that applies constantly, uh, even though it still kicks down. In attacking Gizmos, it just says whenever you choose, you can go ahead and choose that instead. Uh, you don't want to get him get too many of these cards that become too hard to fight. Alright, so let's look at his regular cards that every character gets. He has five copies of Gambling I'm In. Start a round of Gambling or Take Control a Round of Gambling. Two copies of I Raise. Take Control a Round of Gambling. 
Each player, including you, must ante a gang. Two copies of Winging Hand take control around of gambling. The next card to take control must be a cheating card. The wench thinks you should stop playing with the drinks. Negate a sometimes card that changes the effect of a drink. This includes a card that negates, ignores, splits a drink, passes a drink to another player, or alters any drink effects. This can only be affected by I don't think so. Two copies of Wench. Bring some drinks for my friends. When you play this card during your order a drink phase of your turn, pay one gold to the end order two additional drinks. You can tip the Wench. Pick a player, they pay the one gold to the inn, or I don't think so. Negate a sometimes card. This card can only be affected by another I don't think so. Alright, then for his fun cards. So we have two copies of Noble Sacrifice. You may play this card when in action sometimes or anytime, or event card would make you lose one of your gizmo, make you or one of your gizmos lose fortitude. Sacrifice a Gizmo if you have one. Sacrificing does not cause collateral damage. Reduce the Fortitude cost lost to zero for you and all your remaining Gizmos. This is really good if that's something that maybe hits a lot of guys. Uh, scamper away. Ignore an action, sometimes or anytime card that affects Fortitude alcohol content. Or ignore a drink. Bad gizmo. Don't drink that. Ignore a drink. Sacrifice a gizmo if you have one. Reveal the drink first. Sacrificing does not cause collateral damage. Two copies of Not Now. I'm doing research. You must play this card when you, you play this card when you must ante. Instead of ante, you leave the round of gambling or ignore a drink. Two copies of This would be perfect for oiling the gears. Re Reduce the alcohol content of the drink by 2. Increase the gizmo fortitude by 1. Um, so that's kind of cool. Uh, take less drink, but then uh, up your gizmo's health. Uh, from destruction, construction. You may play this card immediately after one of your gizmos is discarded from play. Any other gizmo from your hand. If they are action phase, that gizmo is still kicked down this turn. It's okay, it's okay, I can work with this. Um, and then he's got, I think there's a bit of gold in these gears. You may play this card when you're about to use gold. Use gold from the aim rather than your own stash. You look thirsty, are you thirsty? You look really thirsty. Um, you pester someone until pick another player, that player drinks the top of their drink me pile. Got two copies of Sorry, I forgot about the safety on my automatic Fangalix. Uh, you may play this card immediately after you lose a Gizmo, lose a Sportitude from a card played by another player. You may even play this card if you reduce that Fortitude lost. That player also loses two Fortitude. And Parallel Production. You may put a Gizmo from play into your hand or discard pile. Then you may put a Gizmo into play from your hand. Alright, so that was all of our regular cards, and he's going to get his gizmos. So we already seen Wrench as a little helper. We have the drink delivery device. Order a drink. Place that in any other player's drink me pile. And you get a drink. And you get a drink. Then you magic needler. Pick up the two other players. They each lose one fortitude. Rat to attack. attack. Uh, miniature mink. Gain one gold from the inn. You could always throw money at the problem. Peril sensitive safety mask. Uh, when you, you would gain alcohol content, the gain is reduced by one. Can't fool me with your tricks if I can't make sense of them. Uh, head case. Uh, whenever you would lose fortitude, that loss is reduced by one. Uh, no, it's not just a bucket. A buckler in a box. Uh, whenever you lose fortitude, that loss is reduced by one. Uh, the home version is wall in a box. That's funny. Uh, lightning generator. Pick another player. They lose two fortitude. It's electrifying. The self-propelled bear trap. Pick another player. They lose three fortitude. Just in case any bears come into the tavern. A clockwork cut purse. Pick a player, they pay one gold to the end. Hey, where did that little guy go? 
the monstrous distra monster distraction engine. Pick another player, lose one fortitude, bullseye. And then finally, he has automated oil can. Uh, pick a gizmo, add one to all of that gizmo's numeric effects until the next time it loses fortitude. This does not include the number of on the fortitude tracks. You can't increase its health. Nothing like a little teamwork. Alrighty. Um, so that was Gizmos. Now I did have, you use these wrenches to keep track of those. And then you have these plus markers. So the plus markers are um, for cards like that. Um, like automated oil cam. So it says, I'm a look and causes another gizmo to have an increased effect until the next time we support it. Use the plus token to indicate this effect. Remember to remove the plus token as soon as it loses fortitude. Putting the plus token over that number below the gizmo's wrench token can help with this. Note the I may look can make target itself. If it does, the next time you activate it, it will instead increase its effect by two instead of one. Um, so that's kind of what that came from. So they put them in there just as a reminder so you don't have to try and remember. Um, alright, so that was a quick little one. Uh, these little, little decks won't take nearly as long as some of the other sets. Um, but yeah, Ranch has an interesting little thing. Just a little, basically summons. I think he's one of the few characters that has, um, more realistic, I guess, summons. There are a couple other characters that have cards that can summon allies to come out and help, or they come out and they do something and then they leave, um, or they have effects while they're out, but this is one of the few ones that actually have kind of like a health system. Um, so that's kind of cool. Um, yeah, so alright, there we go. Wrench, just extra little fun character. See you guys in the next video. Bye!